Hi YouTube, Ricky here from Tech Talk, and today is our final review on the Vodafone Smart V8. So let's get into this. So first of all, I just wanna talk about your device and what you're gonna find around it. So you have your selfie camera, which is an eight megapixel front facing camera, and it is a wide angled lens so everyone can get in the shot. There is a little sensor inside there and that is an LED notification sensor. So that will let you know when you have notifications and will help when charging. So there is no home button on this. There is all the software touch sensitive keys. Looking at the left hand side of the device, you're gonna see your SIM card and SD card tray there, which a tool is provided in the box also you're going to find your power and sleep wake button turning down to the bottom of your device you're going to find your speaker grill the one let down for this device i believe is that it's not using usb-c it's actually using micro usb still next to that you're going to find your microphone as well right hand side is a little bit lonely all you're going to get on this side is your volume rocker so you're up and down and also can be used to quick launch the camera and to take photographs as well looking at the top you're going to find a microphone so it's going to pick up that audio for when recording videos and also you've got your 3.5 jack which headphones are provided in the box turning around to the back of this device this is where it starts to look a little bit more interesting as you can see on the top and the bottom you have got a plastic like material and this is to let in radio signals your mobile network signals and wi-fi signals as on the back it is a brushed aluminum design no signals can actually penetrate the device so on the back here you've got a 16 megapixel camera which records in full hd you also have a fingerprint sensor inlaid Vodafone logo there. It does look really nice in this brushed aluminum design here. Next to the camera, you do also have a dual flash. So while we're on the back of the device, I just wanna talk about the design and the build quality of the Vodafone Smart V8. I think this year they've really stepped up and changed. They've taken some components from the Platinum 7 brushed aluminum on the back. Yes, you do have the two plastic edges, but to be honest, it's done in the same color, nice and to fit in with this device here. And from all angles, this phone looks really nice the front here the display looks absolutely stunning and i was convinced it was actually a higher quality than what it is actually so moving into our lock screen you have some options in here so you can either quick jump to google assistant you've got a torch option you've got a calculator you can add a different widget or you can even jump into your calculator so these days security is a big thing so for this device you can have a pin pattern or a password or as you saw here you can have a fingerprint which is built into the back and works very well so if I just hold my finger in that position correctly, there we go, you saw it was held correctly. It's getting used to finding the fingerprint sensor on the back. It is okay to start off with. Please register the right portion of your finger as well for it to work. Now ask for the pattern that I've designed. Draw your pattern correctly and it will unlock your device here for you. So I've got my iPhone here. So let's test out these touch ID sensors. Three, two, one. There we go. My device is running iOS 11 beta, so it is a little bit buggy. The Vodafone fingerprint sensor is really fast, really snappy, and does respond. You can add multiple different fingers as well, so your device can be unlocked by family members if you so wish to allow them. Next, let me talk through your home screen here. As I said, there is no dedicated home button here. You just have the soft software buttons inlaid. So if you press and hold the home button, it's gonna launch Google, and you can talk to Google Assistant. You've got your back button, which always takes you back out of a app or an option that you're are in then you have your app switcher button here and you can jump in switch to an app or close all applications if you so wish to sliding down from the top you're going to find your notification area pulling down even further you're going to find your widget drawer so inside here we've got a wi-fi you've got network signal you've got do not disturb you've got your torch location settings brightness here at the top with a slider but also brightness feature there as well tap in the gear icon at the top here you can also change and edit the layout here as well if you so wish to Touching and holding the display, we can change our wallpaper, we can add a widget or change our settings. So this device is running Android 7.1.1, which is Nugget and is near enough pure Android. So there are a few applications from Vodafone. You will see here, you've got my Vodafone and you've got a few Vodafone apps, but there is not too much bloatware on here. So the software is running well. It seems to respond and move quickly through menus, applications, and all features on the device. Carrying on with our review, I want to talk about the sound and the display. 
say, and I'm going to show you a movie trailer, this phone it did surprise me with its resolution on the screen as I thought it was a quad HD display and it's actually not. It's just a full HD display which is 1080 by 1920 which gives us a pixel density of 401 which is in line with the iPhone series but it does look absolutely stunning all angles as well. So we're going to jump into a movie trailer here. Computer, how do I put the Joker in Arkham Asylum? Quickest route, no freeways. Computer, do you hear me? Hello, Master Bruce. I've just taken away your computer privileges. Gasp! Sir, it's time for you to stop this unhealthy behavior. You can't spend the rest of your life alone, dressed in black, and staying up all night. Good night, Alfred. Sir, it's morning. Yes, sir! You need to take responsibility for your life, and it starts by raising your son. I'm sorry. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. The young orphan you adopted at the gala. Sweet! I thought I was being sarcastic. Hello, secret camera. As you see from that movie trailer there, which is quite hilarious, so go and check Batman Lego Movie out, the screen holds up very well and the sound performs very well as well considering it is a sideward facing. Just make sure that you do not cover it up and if you want a better sound quality to use the 3.5 headphone jack that we see up here at the top. Next I want to show you how well this performs on the Vodafone network. So we've got an application here called speedtest.net which you can go and get from the Google Play Store. Please remember that your network will change depending on your area. Area, time of day and your device that you do use. We scored quite a reasonable download speed here of 10 megabytes and an upload speed of just under one megabyte which could have been slightly better. The next application that I'm going to run here is Geekbench. Our results are in and as you can see here our single core score 680, our multi core score 2615. Just comparing that now to the Platinum 7 which scored 1533 for the single core and 5297 for the multi core. There is quite a difference there, but the spec was a lot higher. Ultra 7, on the other hand, scored 779 in the single core score and 3061 in the multi core score. Next, I want to just go through some of the specs for you of this great new device from Vodafone. So, on pay as you go, it's only going to cost you £160. And believe me, from the specs I'm going to read off, that is a lot of specs for your money. On contract, you can get it as low as £19 per month and you will get 500 minutes, unlimited text and 500 megabytes of data. It was released in June of 2017. It comes in this black model. It weighs 166 grams. In thickness it comes in at 7.9 millimeters thick here. It just looks great from every angle. As you can see here you've got the two polished silver edges that brushed aluminum through the middle. This device comes in a 32 gigabyte option with the option of an SD card, which I've showed here and I've showed in a previous video that you can go and check out. This model will only take up to 128 gigabytes of SD card storage, though, so please bear that in mind. This device has three gigabytes of RAM, so you're gonna be able to run every application that you can and available in the Google Play Store. Battery will last you all day long as well as it has a whopping 3000 millionth hour battery. And believe me, with some of the gaming that I've been testing on this device, it has been lasting up very well. The SIM card for this device is a Nano SIM, which is the smallest one. The display is actually covered in a dragon tail glass, so it is well protected. The chip that you'll find in this device is a Snapdragon 435 chip. It is running an optical processor running at 1.4 gigahertz per core. It's a Cortex A53. And the GPU is an Adranu 505. So finally, my personal thoughts and my key features for this device. First of all is its display. Yes it is only a full HD display but it doesn't look like it. When you're playing games, when you're checking out your photographs or even when you're just using it as a standard application such as Facebook or Twitter, everything just seems to pop out and it looks absolutely stunning. The colours look absolutely superb. As you can see here we've got multiple different colours and it just seems to pop out of the display. The text also stands out very clearly and nice and easy for me to read. The other key feature that I pulled off this device was the camera. I think the camera is absolutely fantastic, very quick to use, 
very nice easy point and shoot camera with three easy modes to choose from. So you've got pano, you've got photograph and you've got video. Also you have the options to change in different scenarios here which I've gone through in a camera video so go and check that out as well. All links will be in the description. You also have filters, everyone loves a great filter these days. And one other final thing I will pull off is its power and performance and its reliability. I haven't had any issues with any applications I've thrown at it. As you can see here I've thrown multiple different games at it from low level to very high level with GTA San Andreas there. Again, we tested a gaming video, so go and check that out on the channel. Overall, I'm very pleased to see that Vodafone's moved on, taken maybe some back steps from the Platinum 7 with the cost, as it is only £160, this device is really packing well with the specs and the performance you can get out of it from everyday use. If there is any information you require, please leave a comment down below. It's great to hear from you. Thanks always for the support on the channel. Channel, and please give a thumbs up and remember if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our latest videos from me ricky i'll see you very soon bye for now